Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Well, look on the screen. Well, here it says in an update, which this is no surprise, I think, to anyone. It's definitely not a surprise for me. Uh, I did a prior video on this and kind of speculate, hey, this would be the follow-up. It says Jonathan Majors gets sued by ex Grace Jabari for defamation, assault, and battery. So the first thing hit my mind is Jonathan Majors, he might have to sell those church shoes because looks like your boy is being sued. Again, not surprising. So let's take a quick listen to this brief clip from an interview that he did uh, about Hollywood. Now, this interview was basically... um after the guilty verdict uh, there was a sentencing day i believe set for march it was then um changed and set to april so right around the corner and he allegedly faces up to a year in jail i personally don't think he's going to get a year in jail I, I really don't i just don't see that happening i'm i'm kind of guessing that more than likely what they're probably going to do is give him some kind of probation okay that's what I'm guessing. It may be a fine. But what's really going to think, um, what's going to happen, I think financially, I think he's done. He says in this interview, if you listen closely, he says, let me go ahead and play it. He says, it's like everything has gone away. So no income, legal fees, she sues you. I'm sure she's going to win. Much to your chagrin, you roll the dice. And sometimes the decisions you make, life ain't nice. Here we go. Listen. Facing the possibility of up to a year in jail after a conviction on misdemeanor reckless assault and harassment in connection with an altercation involving his then girlfriend. He sat down exclusively with me for his first interview since his arrest, discussing the relationship at the center of the trial, the role that he says race played, and why he didn't take the stand. Why did you decide you wanted to talk now? I felt like it was time. A lot has happened <laughs> um, in my personal life, in my career, um, in the culture. And conversely, the impact of this is about responsibility and coming forward and uh, being brave and, and giving my, my part of the story. In an ABC News exclusive, actor Jonathan Major sat down with me in his first interview since a jury handed down a guilty verdict for reckless harassment, a misdemeanor, and a violation of harassment in the second degree. You know, I haven't, I haven't seen my daughter in, in, a, in, a, in a long time, you know, and uh, a lot of it has to do with this situation. It all has to do with this situation, and um, she needs to see this, and... Um, the hard things need to be done, but it's been hard. You know, everything is, uh, everything's kind of gone away. The 30 everything's kind of gone away. So you haven't seen your daughter in a long time, and this has a lot to do with it? To me, that says a lot. You haven't seen your daughter in a long time, and this has a lot to do with it? Do you have a history of violence? I'm asking. So is it the bad publicity? Or is it your concern of safety or your behavior? Two things here. How does a woman, the text message is from a prior incident to me speaks volumes. And the marks on the chick. When she went to get help about going to the hospital, he was concerned about himself. Selfish, he was concerned about himself. They're going to think I did it. Well, who else did it? Why would she go to the hospital? Did she injure herself? He never said, listen, go to the hospital. You know, you hurt yourself. Well, next time you learn to be more careful and not fall down the stair. Nothing like that. He was more concerned about himself from those text messages. That's my interpretation. More concerned about himself. They're going to think I did it in an investigation. Who, who else did it? 
if you didn't do anything to or someone, let's say someone hurt themselves, the text messages never did allude to that. You hey, you got to be more careful. You bumping into stuff, what have you? It, it it never said that. And then the fact that he didn't want her, based on those messages, again my interpretation to seek medical attention. What does that tell you? Something happened. There will be an investigation. So maybe suffer in silence because, hey, he's probably paying for everything. Maybe that's part of the deal, you know, when people have control. The one that's saying is the one that's paying. So if a person gets violent, things like that, you know, hey, you got to cont- uh, protect the quarterback, protect the money back. Again, where did the Mars come from? Who did it? He never did say, you know, you and so and so better stop housing around. So that can only lead me in by him being seeming defensive to make me believe that you did it. Now, the fact that she stayed. After the first incident, Jabari, why did you still stay? That should have been your clue right there. Uh oh violent tendencies if what she says is true but seriously marks how she was found on a closet laid out they had a fight on you know it's i'm not saying he's the reason that she was laid out but seriously this couple seems to be having these quote incidents of an unfriendly nature getting the smell of dv why did she why didn't you leave Was it, oh, I love him. Do you love yourself more to stay down, stay around for a possible alleged, you know, maybe a possible beat down? Is that what you do? Some people may say, oh, no, she was waiting for the right time. And that time might be now. She was waiting for the right time. Why didn't she leave? Why didn't he get some help? See, you got two consenting adults in this relationship. You both make the choice to stay or leave. I'm thinking maybe she, you know, she was a dancer. Is that a regular income? Maybe she needed him for survival. A lot of bad women do. But then the video, when they had that scuffle inside the vehicle, and he was running, you know, what I label as those church shoes. <laughs> oh, and she's chasing him. That's the part I didn't understand, her chasing him. I did not understand that. Why would you chase him? Why would you go after this man? Especially if you've maybe suffered abuse. So it makes me wonder if they have a situation where they've both been boxing up on each other. It does make me wonder that. So this here, he may have to sell those church shoes because he's getting sued. Maybe they got some OJ Simpson power and know how to boogity, boogity, boogity. It's, it's no surprise. This is no surprise, but those prior text messages say a lot. Again, why didn't she leave? On the video, she is chasing after old boy. I mean, it was ridiculous. Maybe it's a sick relationship. They like to hurt each other. You never know. But fast forward, he says, everything's gone away. I think you've ended, uh, it's over. And then it's the part about his daughter, not seeing his daughter, a lot of it has to, uh, some of it has to do to this. It does? You shouldn't have never even said that. Where is your publicist to discuss? You know what they're going to probably ask? Your answer. I'm just saying, life is business. He's keeping it real though. You haven't seen your daughter in a long time. Why is that? Are you an absentee father? 
You been seeing going out and into that. You don't with the money that you have. Why haven't you seen your daughter in a long time? Are you trying to use your daughter as um, a pawn? You know, I, oh, he has a daughter. He has a black daughter. She looks like an all black girl to me. Not that it matters, but now you have a daughter. So you haven't seen in a long time. So you mean to tell me just like you can maybe fly at your girlfriend and bring her maybe on the set with you. Now that I don't know if he's done that. You mean to tell me you can't do a movie role and maybe fly out the um, your daughter and maybe the mother to come see you from up in a hotel? I don't care if it's just for one hour excuses excuses are you trying to use your daughter as to pay you oh he's also a father heck i know he had a daughter until i saw this interview and he had the daughter before success because that was before he even attended yale so he didn't have this daughter while he was doing hollywood this daughter as i understand doing the math this was way before he even went to college so you haven't seen her in a long time. Gee, whose fault is that? I've been so busy acting. You have time to go to restaurants and, and go to clubs and, and eat. So you have time and definitely the money to fly your daughter wherever the heck you are to sit down and have a conversation and have dinner. No excuses. Now all of a sudden you want to talk about you have a daughter. I thought about that. Wh whose fault is that? I don't want to. You've been so busy. Do you have time to go to a nightclub? Do you have time to go to dinner? Then you have time to fly your daughter out to wherever you are. If it's for one evening and have a dinner and FaceTime, no excuses. So that lets that lead, that's leading me to believe that he's not an uh, involved father. But let me guess. Let's see. Times get a little tight again. He says, it's like everything is gone. Of course. But who did this? And given the history in this country, when it comes to interracial relationships between black men and white women, how many have cried something has happened? And in this case, uh, I think something did happen. And before, like I said, why did the, the marks? I think there are a couple that likes to fight. That's just my opinion. Again, like she ran after him, chasing him down the street, so embarrassing. She could have ran away, but she didn't. He could have gotten help. And I think they might be a couple that get down like that. That's why he was running. Like, oh my God, it's in public now. Someone's going to sit. Let me go ahead and run. Because what? Maybe he knows how they, quote, normally do. But back to this part I found very interesting. 34-year-old actor was a rising star. Was known for his roles in HBO's Lovecraft Country. Mm -hmm. Creed three. I'm coming for everything. And Marvel production. Yep, and that's what she's doing. She's coming for everything. What's left? The endorsement, other roles, gone, over. Still got to pay for attorney's fees, pending sentencing, and now he's being sued by Jabari. He's coming for everything, and so is she. So let me know what you all think about this. He's just ruined his life. I hope and pray, which I, it wouldn't surprise me if he didn't. I hope if there's a trust fund that he has set up prior to all this uh, drama um, uh, set up for his daughter. It would surprise me if he did, but at least that way you, you should have had one. He should have had one with at least uh, a couple of million dollars set aside in a trust fund for his daughter. Okay, that, that that's my opinion. That's how people in business operate. They make sure that they take care of their kid. That's if you love your kid. They make sure because guess what? This is your DNA. This is your legacy. So I would hope that he has a trust fund. He should have been had a trust fund set up for his daughter. And looks like the money has doing no down. I thought it was worth more money. It's saying now after, as of 2024, he was worth, he's worth, what, $2 million? That's it? As of 2024, he was worth $2 million. 
That is it. I'm surprised. Oh, well. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think. Who didn't see this coming? This was the, the next move. But guess what? You know the consequences of your actions and the relationships, the decisions that you make, even in a partner. So this right here, put on your big boy britches and deal with it. Again, might want to sell those infamous, famous church shoes because your bar is coming for your money. Jonathan Majors is being sued, and I'm out.